Hey, Tommy the Butcher back. I'm going to share a quick review on how to set up a grill for indirect heat. I've been doing this for over 30 years. It's a little extra work, but it is so good. It's just, you can cook anything. Turkey, whole prime rib I've done, uh, whole chicken two at a time, whatever. Uh, you can virtually cook any meat this way. And you get the good grill flavor and even can put a heavy smoke on it if you choose to do that way. So simply start off with a clean grill. Clean all your ashes out of the bottom. And it's critical to have good ventilation. So you want them at least half to three quarters open. Now it doesn't have to be a kettle grill. It can be a square one. Whatever brand you have will work as long as you are putting the coals off to the side. So now we've got our bottom of our grill cleaned out. The old ash is gone. I'm putting the bottom grate in and these little coal racks. Now you don't have to have coal racks, but they're, they're a handy little gadget to keep your coals nice and uniform off to the side. So we're going to put one on each side. They just sit in there just like that. There's nothing to it. Okay, so now we got our we got our coal rack in. We're going to put coals. I got my coals out here. Just kind of filled nice and level all the way to the end. And again, I'm going to take a few out. I like to add smoker wood, so I'm going to, when this burns down, they get white hot, there'll be room to add some mesquite, which is my favorite, but you can use cherry, oak, uh, hickory, whatever you like. Okay, so we've got the coals in place. I'm not going to start it up today, but I'm going to illustrate uh, just putting the fluid on, which is really simple, but I like to do a countdown. I count real slow to 10 on each side. I go back and I'll do it to a count of five on the other side. This is the only way I've been able to do it with a somewhat even consistency. You want even heat on both sides, okay? So now you want to light it, start it up, and get it going. All right, so now when they're all really nice and white hot, you got to have it started all the way. Or if they go out, you're going to be screwed. It ain't going to work. Uh, and you'll be cussing me. Before, I forgot, before you do that, you want to use a drip pan of some sort. You can use, this is bigger than I need, but I'm going to make it work. And this is going to catch all your dripping from whatever you're, from whatever you're cooking. Because otherwise it's going to make a heck of a mess in your grill. And this is disposable, I just clean the whole thing out, throw it away. Okay. Now, your fluid's on, you light it, you let it, they're white hot, let's say, okay? Add some smoker wood, mesquite, two, three nice chunks on each side is all you need, the little, the little chunk. Put your grill top back on. You want to brush it. Now, if you've got a, a newer grill, which this doesn't need uh, seasoned, let's say, <laughs> uh, it's past seasoned, <laughs> take a wadded up paper towel and use your tongs so you don't get burnt. Wad up paper towel with butter and then just go over your grates. It'll keep uh, whatever you're grilling from sticking, which for mine, like I said, it's not a problem. It's more than seasoned. All right, so you got everything, everything fired up, your smoke wood's going, and you set your turkey, prime rib, two whole chickens right above the pan. Now the indirect heat obviously is this has heat coming directly up. This does not. That's that's what the indirect heat means. So you put your lid on, half to three quarters open, so you keep an airflow. That's critical. It, it'll your coals will go out, and then the whole deal is shot. So you got to keep that fire burning. So half to three quarters. The windier it is, the less a little bit less ventilation is needed because you're going to have the proper airflow. All right, so set the timer for 40 minutes. That goes off. You're gonna you need to add a few more coals to keep the heat where you need to be to cook something. So uh, you'll be able to tell. Just keep it even across there. And I wouldn't add any more smoker wood, but I, you're definitely gonna have to add coals to keep the fire going. So uh, every 40 minutes until something's done. Typically a turkey's three and a half hours, a smaller turkey takes about the same time as it does in the oven. So it's fantastic. I've been doing it for years and 
So summarize real quickly, clean out the grill, open your vents, use the coal racks and or drip pan. If you use the cake pan about uh, 9 by 13 approximately, it will rain your pan. So if you don't want to catch hell, uh, buy a disposable one like I do. Uh, approximately 20 to 30 coals each side. Light it, let it get white hot. Add your smoker wood. Place your rack, clean it, paper towel, blah blah blah. Uh, open the vent on top half to three quarters and then add coals every 40 minutes and at the 40 minute intervals is a great time to baste it and I like melted butter with garlic soy uh, some you can add uh, um, Worcestershire you can add whatever you want onion powder so yeah approximately one stick two teaspoons of soy Two tablespoons, no, two teaspoons of garlic, and you're good to go. So, okay, I'm going to do a PS. I do have how to smoke a grilled turkey video. This is just showing the setup. So, if you want to do whatever you want to do, but it's complete, completely tells you from square one how to do a turkey, and they're wonderful. So, all right, 